What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And this is just a quick update video, but we did a video here recently about uh, plants in Mexico possibly being sold uh, to ZF, company that makes transit missions and other uh, powertrain uh, parts. Now, doing my research, I found that you know, Dodge or Stellantis itself builds some of these ZF transmissions under a license, paying a royalty to ZF to use in their vehicles. Well, after I published this video, uh, other people, I guess, that work at the plant, and I've already verified, it's not hard to verify if somebody works there, you know, you, you have key cards and all that stuff. And um, Needless to say, people that work at the plant in Indiana, I think it's pronounced Kokomo, maybe I'm saying it incorrectly, but in Indiana, have now come out and said, yeah, they had a, uh, they've had uh, furloughs, not layoffs, but no scheduled work for a while, uh, coming back and forth, and that they've had a lot of people there from ZF. And the rumblings that are coming out of there is that the Indiana plant, which Stellantis owns, would be sold to ZF. Now, it's interesting because we also heard the same thing about the Indiana plant possibly being sold to. BYD, And this is not a, a shock or surprising to me as Carlos Tabaris is going to continue to hit this company with an axe and sell off profitable pieces of the company until it gets to the point that he'll start selling brands. Um, but I don't know if the, the information that we've obtained that said that BYD was interested in that plant to be able to use it. But then now knowing what they manufacture at that plant, it's kind of like they'd have to retool most of that factory to be able to manufacture those electric cars there. Would it be something else? Um, so, but I thought it was interesting. Like I said, not a, not a super long video today or just, you know, just a quick update video on what I was able to find out uh, just from people that work at the Indiana plant, that they've been hearing the same things too, from all the way up to plant management, that the plant was about to change hands. Now, whether that is ZF uh, directly or whether it is BYD, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. I, I thought for sure it was going to a, to the Chinese company as part of the deal um, and possibly selling Chrysler or, or Dodge along in that package uh, to a Chinese company to manufacture here in America so that they can get around those United States 100% tariffs on their cheap electric vehicles. But as we've seen the massive turnaround with electric vehicles, which you may have seen the other posts I did about Mercedes backing away and all these other companies backing away from EVs, uh, I think we're going to see more of it. I don't know if China is going to get a chance to get into the United States. It may happen. They may they may end up getting some of these factories and try to get around these tariffs. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Do you think it's ZF that's buying this factory away from Stellantis? Or do you think there is a play for a Chinese manufacturer to snap up one of these American plants to start building electric cars here? I'd love to know what you guys think. Hit that hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And as always, stay petty, my friends.